I'm Carson and I'm in the sixth grade. We're making commercials for this big project. We had to choose a country and mine was Belgium. It was a country that I didn't know much about and they had good waffles. I think it's really important for kids to be exposed to new technologies and tools like this. My expectations were to be blown away and he definitely did that. I think we should buy Brussels sprouts today. No! My name is Tanya and I'm in the sixth grade. My parents are actually from the Caribbean, so I decided to do a country from the Caribbean. It was basically like slideshows, but in my opinion, a better version, because you cover music and themes. This park presentation is right there. They can just open and watch the whole thing, and everybody's already liking it. <laughs> I was introduced to Adobe Spark just a couple of weeks ago. My first impression was kids are going to love this product. They are going to be engaged with it, they're going to have fun with it, and that means they're going to learn. By being creative in the classroom, it allows students to not even realize that they're focusing on standards of learnings that we must meet in a public school system. They're totally focused on this creative, fabulous project, and only I, as the teacher, realize what I'm teaching them through these products. Creative problem solving is the way of the future. We have to come together and solve small problems and large world problems. And this is a way to begin helping students to be able to communicate and to be creative and innovative. We will absolutely be using Adobe Spark in many of our classrooms, if not all of them. The one word I would use to describe Adobe Spark is amazing. Innovative. Fun. Meaningful. 